Hi Fox, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more TGC 2019. And again, we are going to be playing another TGC Tours 2020 Major, Major Championship Design Contest Olympic Edition. And this one is Minigret and National. And this is by Michael Hamilton. Now, uh, what am I? Let's just get this kicking off over here and we'll get the AI on very hard. Now it's coming in at 7,628 yards, I believe, off the blue tees. Everything's set at default. So the fairways are firm, the greens are firm, the green speed is medium fast. Ooh. So we've got a different pace on the greens this time compared to all the other courses we've played. I mean, with this playing a major, I'm surprised it's went down to a medium fast. What's that about? 170 ish, I think, around about there. Right. Anyway, as I said, we're playing off the blue tees, 7,600 yards. Now let's get started. AI is on a very hard. Okay, nice looking tea area there. I do love the sort of planting just at the, the front section there, the tea box. Okay, that's quite a big sort of first cut. That's huge sort of border uh, first cut. I don't know about how the, the sort of bunker is like half in the rough section, half in this first cut. Yeah, I don't know about how sort of that's really, really wide. But tell you what, let's get the old sky cam on. We shall have a little look around, see what we can see. Okay, let's turn around here. Okay, it looks like you've got a big sort of driving range area just over there. And here is your clubhouse. Nice big grandstands. That'll be the 18th, I'd imagine. Okay, clubhouse is sort of sitting on a little bit of a plateau there. Nice big white picket fence going all the way around it. And it looks like we've got sort of like a fire pit there in the centre. We've got your tables and chairs just outside. People are sitting and have a nice drink. they got a little practice screen here, but there's no um like little sort of you know, little red flags you get on the practice screen. And there's the old um the greenkeeper's stuff there, I think. Well the well no, this is where they keep the the golf carts. Now here's your practice facility here. It looks a bit, little bit bare. I would have liked to have seen, you know, the little sort of bag holders, a couple of sets of bags and bowls and that just out here. Maybe a couple of things just out here as well. I mean, I don't know what you could put out there, but maybe like the flags on the greens and stuff like that. It just looks a little bit bare when you look at it from here. Okay, so let's head back down. Where am I? I'm here. So we'll go down this first hole here. Oh, I do like the sort of steps leading up there the um sort of little sort of street lamp type things just going through the wall there that's look at that looks very nice okay where was i okay here we are done this first section now will take us over to here again yeah you got, that's a huge huge border but i don't know if he's sort of gone for this sort of big dried out look like you're getting like in, in down in the summer, because um, when is Olympics? When was it supposed to be playing? It was in July, I think it was, wasn't it? So yeah, so it would be pretty hot. And what they would do is they'd keep the fairways and the, just on the outskirts of the fairways nice and lush and just let everything else dry out. So that might be what he's going for here. <clears throat> also, what I picked up on as well, like you see there, that big massive pocket of um, spectators there. But mind you, they're all around the hospitality tent, so that is not too bad. But we'll be sitting having a little drink. Okay, that takes us to the back end of the, the practice facility there. So we're going to head up this direction. Again, you've got quite a few bunkers left and right. They're quite a bit far off the, the fairway there. And I think this could have been a lot, lot smoother as well. Yeah, I still don't know about the, the, the huge, the wide, the very sort of wide section of rough uh, first cut. Again, it brings us down to here, this section here. I do again, got the nice sort of grasses and the, the little bushes and all that all around the trees. Let's head down this way. Now, what is that down there?
Well, it looks like a, looks like a cemetery he's got down here. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's definitely a cemetery. You can see the flowers and all that just outside on the on the sort of headstones and things like that. You don't want to go too close to these because as you can see, it's just made out of little sort of bits of wall and things like that. It sort of gives you a better effect when you see these from a distance. It's got a nice sort of big brick wall going all the way around it as well. Okay, let's head down this section towards the little water section. But it looks like we've got a river down here. Nice little brick rock wall going all the down this sort of left hand section of the course. And again, the edges around the bunkers and all that as well. I don't know if they could have... It's just when you see some bunkers and that, and then you see like these, a lot of the bunkers have got like an edging around it, if you know what I mean. Okay, nicely planted sort of down this... Um, sort of river section here so that sort of feeds around there all the way down there into this sort of larger section of body of water down there and we'll head over this direction that takes us back down towards the, the graveyard we'll head up here yeah that's definitely what he's going for in it that sort of really big dried out look and then you've got the, the sort of first cut and the, the the fairways look very, very lush. So let's head up this way. Nice big sort of grandstand there all the way around. I wonder if that's the 18th. You got one, two, three, four sets of grandstands. I thought that might have been 18th there. Yeah, I think that's the 18th, that one over there. So here we are, we're back up at the clubhouse. And you've got that little practice green area just outside there to the rear of the clubhouse again. You haven't got the little flags and that on that. Okay, where are we? We're over here. So let's get this started again. It's a really nice view off this first tee. Okay, let's get the HUD back on. And we shall get this started. Okay, Ninigret National GC. Okay, what we got? Hole 1, 453 yards, par 4, stroke index 14. Got 9 mile an hour wind, coming in around right about 10 o'clock. Now we can play down here, but that looks like it's on a little bit of a slope, so we might play this left hand side and just let the wind sort of drag it back in for us. And that is going to give us a better angle into the green than what down here will, I think. Yeah, so let's go down this section here. Okay, that should be okay. I pushed it a little bit over to the right, but I did move that quite a bit over to the left when I was aiming, so that should be, for, yep, that's fine. That's just gonna reach 300 yards. Okay, 153, we're on 148 with a nine iron. We'll test that out. We'll keep it on 148. We won't put any loft or anything on it, we'll just keep it the way it is. 153, 148. Mind you, we're a little bit of a downhill slope here. So I'm going to put just a tiny touch of loft on it. Okay, that's tracking not bad. It might be right at the pin though. Oh, and I shouldn't have put any loft on it. Them um, greens look pretty receptive. That stopped pretty quick unless it's on an upslope. It is on an upslope. But the green speed is 163. I'm surprised that feels pretty slow for a major. I mean, I don't mind 163. I think one, around 163 to 175 up to 180 is probably a sweet spot. But for a major, you're probably talking 180 to 187. If you can get 180 to 187, I don't know if it goes from one, was it 175 or 170 something I've seen, and then 187. I don't know if you can gradually take it up step by step, if you know what I mean. I think it goes up in like increments, like you got 163, maybe 168, then 175. Okay, what we've we got here, 15 feet, four inches up. Oh, no. Ooh, that was just missed on that left-hand edge. Should have moved that a little bit more to the right. 
Okay, so we start off with a par. That should have been a birdie, I think. Okay, who we got here? Max Homer, Hiroshi Iwata, Shane Lowry, Steve Brown, Mark Lishman, Antoine Rosner, Hideki Matsuyama, Matthias Schwab, Eddie Pepperell, Miguel Tabuena. Okay, hole two, 204 yards, part three, stroke index 12. Okay, pin looks absolutely bang on the center of the green now. Okay, 215 down, so it's playing 195. Let's go down to the 183 with a six iron. I think that should do as I reckon. Maybe a bit of loft on it. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, that's looking not bad. Oh, a little bit more loft, I think. That rolled past quite a bit. But as you see, it's not rolling as much as the other courses that were played. Okay, 13 feet, two inches down. Oh, it's not turning, it's not turning. Oh, that's another putt that I've not done too well on. <clears throat> I think that's two easy birdies I think we could have had there. Uh, very much so. Just kind of left myself a little bit further away from the pin now than what I would have liked. Especially in these sort of conditions, I should be getting closer, I think. Now, there you go. That's what I'm on about with the, the sort of crowds. You've got this massive pocket of crowds just down here on the right-hand side. Now, if you watched, it was the Conservative Club one I did yesterday, and he had his sort of crowd, like, spread out. You do have your little pockets like this. But then you got them sort of just meandering down the, the paths and things like that and just sort of wandering away from the group. It just sort of looks more natural when you do it that way instead of these massive pockets. And plus, uh, this day and age, there should be a bit more um, social distancing <laughs> in there. Come on, come on, boys, spread out a bit. Okay, so what we've got here are three. Oh, three, 448 yards, par four, stroke index, a six. 10 mile an hour when going with us here, so that's going to help us out. Oh, shh. Ooh, that was nasty. That's quite a wide fairway, though, so hopefully that's going to... Yeah, that's fine. I actually held on that. I think I'm going to have to start coming on, maybe doing a nine-holer or something before I play. Because all these courses you've seen me play for this competition, they're the only courses that I've played. I haven't played any other courses um, apart from them. Okay, 134, 14 up, so it's playing around about 139-ish. We've got 136 with a pitching wedge. 132, 122, the gap wedge with that 10 mile an hour wind. Oh, oh, oh. Tell you what, I'm going to go with that, but I'm going to down loft at a touch. Since the greens looked a little bit more receptive. That's a bit better swing. That's tracking lovely towards the pin. Yeah, I'm glad I put that little bit of down loft on that. Just got a little bit of roll on it. So hopefully we'll pick up a birdie here. Yeah? And we do, nice. And with this being 163, you can actually afford to put a little bit more weight on your putts just to take some of the break out. Okay, hole four, 515 yards, par four, stroke index two. Okay, the fairway's caught a sort of split here in two. You've got the sort of cart path coming through it there. Seven mile an hour wind, kind of going downhill. I think, ooh, that might run out there, you know. Oh, I don't know where they go for that. Or drop it down to the two wood. Now, with the distance there with the driver, and if it does run out, it's going to land right about there. Now, if I go over the two wood, I'm, I don't think I'm actually losing a lot of distance. I think, because this is going to probably roll out to about here. So I think we're probably better off just going with the two wood. I've got a funny feeling that driver might just run out. Oh, I don't know. I'll tell you what. I'll try it. Then if it runs out, then you guys know. <laughs> right, come on. Gonna be close. Oh, 
Oh, yep, yep, yep. I should have just pulled back way into the two wood. Damn. But it's, fa it's first cut, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, that's all right. 92, 97%. Okay, 190, 14 down. So it's playing around about 185. And you know what? I'm actually going to put a bit of loft on this. Because we're going downhill. Yeah, we're coming out of the first cut, so it's not too bad. Yep, just as well I did put a little bit of loft on that. Okay, 11 feet, 2 inches down. Oh, it's not turning, it's not turning. Oh, it is turning. <laughs> turned right at the end. I didn't think I was going to get that one either. Okay, without the minus two. Okay, hole five, 415 yards, par four, stroke index eight. Okay, the fairway sort of turned around to the left here. This is where that rock wall is, going down the left-hand section of the fairway. Nice bit of planting all the way down this left-hand side here. Okay, we should be able to cut some of this corner off. Now again, you got, I mean, that's not too bad there. You sort of got them spread out a little bit more there, but I'd like to see them, like, just sort of meandering down the path and just spread out a little bit more. That's not bad, that little crowd section there. Okay, right. We should be okay here. As long as we don't try and take too much of this corner off. That should be alright. Oh, just... And that's not a bad drive from there, 315 yards. So is that going to leave us with a pitch in? 85, now we could probably just go with a full shot here. Oh, yeah, I think, you know what? I think I'm going to go down to the, the 9 iron pitch here. I think that's going to play around about right. Let's put a little bit of loft on it. I want to make sure it hits the green though. And that should pull up lovely. Oh, I shouldn't have put any loft on it. <laughs> I forgot those last couple of holes with the pro shots, but they're getting quite a bit of um, receptiveness on the greens here. But we pick up the birdie, so that is nice. Okay. Okay, Shane Lowry in the lead. Tony Finau is just coming to the, the bottom. There you see, Tony Finau, he's Korean. <laughs> Yeah, so annoying that little bug. I mean, I spent two, two and a half hours changing 300 AI names and their nationality. I never bothered with a profile pic because you, you actually never see them on the leaderboard. You only see them um, when you're going from round to round or whatever. So some of them are still actual female um, profile pictures. But it is annoying when you spend two, two, three hours changing all them names and then every now and again when you're playing against them, they've changed back to the original nationality uh, from the original AI. Right, so we've got here, hole six, 626 yards, par five, stroke index 16. Right, that wind's dropped down to three mile an hour. Now we're not gonna reach the green two. So you can just smack the driver down there. Now that was quite a large fairway, so that's why I was still talking while I was swinging there. <clears throat> Even if I hit a fast or a slow, I think I would have probably still landed on the fairway. Nice big, large, wide fairway. Okay, 304. So, oh, we can reach the green. But I tell you what, if we hit that green, that is going to leave us one massive putt. So I am actually going to pull this back. 226. That's leaves 70 odd. That should be okay. That should give us a full pitch in. Oh, my swing. I tell you, it amazes me how from day to day your swing can change and your tempo as well. Okay, 64 yards. We're on 63. We could go down to the 57. 
bump off that little slope there. Yeah, I think that should be okay. That should kick off that little slope. Oh, I keep again. I'm expecting the ball to run 10, 15 feet, 20 feet, but it's not, is it? Right. Okay. Oh, I thought that would have turned. I thought I would have turned more than that. That was a, a birdie we should have had. That was an easy birdie we should have had there. Right, I'm going to have to start going for the pins here, guys, I think. Okay, hole 762 yards, par 3, stroke index 4. Okay, you got to raise the green complex here. Now, you need to be careful as well. Uh, Mr. Michael Hamilton, I can see it from here, from the tee box. The right-hand section of your grandstand there is actually sort of flowing. See it? Yeah, just a little bit more care when you're sort of doing your playthroughs and you can see things like that or when you're actually planning it. Sometimes this is, is a publishing error though, but yeah, you can see that right away from the tee box. You can see it right, right underneath it. <clears throat> okay, 154, 15 up. So it's playing around about 159 to 160. So we're going to go up to the 160, but we're going to put a bit of loft on it. Oh, come on, get this swing sorted out. Absolutely bang on distance, but I pulled that all the way over to the left. Right, let me try and sort this swing out. Okay, what have we got here? 15 feet, one inch down. Oh, no, 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 no. That was terrible. Oh, dear. That's still going. Oh, that's going to leave us a big uphill part, I think. We might actually even come away with a bloody bogey here. Okay. 14 feet, one foot up. Turn. Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice save. But that should have been another birdie. I think with the conditions we're playing today on this course, we should have been, I don't know, at least five, six under at the moment couple of bad approach shots swing wise tempo's good but the the actual pulling left and right a little bit too much here i think you try and sort that out for the back nine okay hole eight 433 yards par four stroke index two and and again look at that wind that wind's dropped right down so we should actually be scoring here right let's try and now that's a better swing we hit a little bit of a fast though. So instead of having my um, my hands on my lap, I actually just moved them out a little bit there. It kind of gave me a bit of a straighter swing, so I might try that. Okay, oh, big slope right to left, 90 yards. And do you know what? I think I am going to go in here with a pitch because as I said, the greens are pretty receptive. Let's put a little bit of loft on it. Let's just move that over to this left-hand side here because of this slope we're on. All right, come on. Oh, it's a slow, but we are hitting a better swing though. Oh, and there was a slope to the right of the pin, but oh, it didn't catch it though, so that's okay. Okay, 11 feet, three inches up. Nice, nice putt. <clears throat> so I think on the 187 greens, you know, people that are playing the courses are going to be a little bit more tentative with the putts. Playing at 163 on a major, you can, you can kind of sort of bash the putts in, if you know what I mean. Take some of the break out. Because on the 187 greens, you've got a good chance of lipping out, even if you're a little bit too pacey and you're not center of the cup. Okay, hole 9, 569 yards, par 5, stroke index 18. So this is playing the easiest hole on the course. We would like to be down here. But with that being, what, 576, 58 up, we are not going to reach it in 2 anyway. So we're going to play over to this right-hand section. 
And look at that wind. Wow, that wind's just dropped right down. So we're just going to play down here. And we're going to play up, lay up for our second shot. I hope I'm right distance wise, because I don't think we'd reach the green two there. Uphill, that should be about 270 uphill. Yeah, 270 with the 57 uphill, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have reached that. Or we might have reached it, but on the very edge. So we're going to, let's have a look where we want to put it. Yeah, that should be about fine. That yeah, should be okay, that. Bit of a slope, so we'll move it a little bit more to the right. All right, let's try and... Yep, that's a bit better. The spring's a little bit straighter, but with me lifting off my lap, um, that's twice I've hit a fast now with doing that. Okay, 80 yards, 17 up. So I was playing round about 86 to the pin. 86. 88. Right. I think that should actually roll up to about there. Let's just down loft a little touch. Nice. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, you see how receptive these greens are compared to the other courses in the competition we've played so far. Alright, come on. Here we go. Oh, we get another birdie. Nice. Okay, Shane Lowry finished minus 11 after 18. <clears throat> now, if I can get my swing going here, we've got a good chance of catching them, you know. Okay, hole 10, 453 yards, par 4, stroke index 1. Hardest hole on the course. Okay, you got two bunkers. Just sort of encroaching into the center of the fairway there. Now it's going to be a landing area. Now we could come down here. We will make that because we're a little bit downhill. That should be fine. And that wind should hold it on the fairway for us. If I don't pull it. There we go. That's a bit better. Still a little bit over to the left, but that should be fine. Oh, you got a nice kick off that hill there. That's a nice big drive, 331 yards. Okay, 126, 29 up, so it's playing around about 136. Absolute bang on 136, but 4 mile an hour wind, let's put a little bit of loft on that. Oh, I think I moved that, didn't I? Yep, that's okay, because we're on a bit of a left to right slope there as well. No. That's me more worried about pulling it left and right than concentrating on my, my tempo there. But that is not too bad. Okay, at least pretty flattish. Just a little bit of a turn right at the end, right at the end of the, the putt there by the cup. Okay, 16 feet, five inches down. Turn, turn. There we go. Nice. Okay, hole 11, 632 yards. Par 5, stroke index 15. Okay, quite a lengthy par 5 this one. Hitting over 600 yards. Wait, you just get off the first cut. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, HB should bring out the rope system. <laughs> keep, keep the spectators. Behind the rope. I'd love to see things like that in the next game. If they do, they've got to bring another game out. I'd love to see things like that. Pot bunkers, rope system, and things like that. Just to give it a little bit more authenticity. <clears throat> and I've mentioned it a couple of times before. With them being with 2K publishing now. Well, 2K publishing them. I really do hope 2K say to them. Uh, you're not using Unity. For your next game. Here you go. Boom. There's Red Dead Redemption's engine. Use that instead. <laughs> oh, that would be bloody glorious, I tell you. Okay, right. Now, I think we 
possibly if I dropped down a five would but definitely got a full pitch in if I go with a two wood that was pretty close to being we'll go with a two wood now that's the way I should be bloody swinging I hope that was going to leave as a full pitch in oh that's run up quite a bit I might end up with a flop shot here I think Yep, 43, so it's playing around about 46. Do, 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 flop shot 42, that should be okay for that. Oh, that's absolutely bang on. Even though we hit the slope, that will still give us a, a birdie putt. Yeah, a little bit of change of pace from the other courses. Just played a little bit easier. Mind you, that wind died right down on a couple of the holes. But again, when um, some of my approach shots in that front nine, I should have been, I don't know, another three three shots. I should have been at least nine, ten under by now, I think. Okay, 190, 17 up. So it's playing around about 196. We're 194. With the five iron. A little bit of loft on this. Again. Oh, come on. Pulled that way over to the left. Why am I doing that? Yeah, I think I need to start maybe jumping on doing a quick nine or jumping on the driving range for five, ten minutes, I think. Okay, pretty flat putt though. Boom, boom. Yes, nice. Four thirteen, four hundred and seventy seven yards, pop or stroke index three. Okay, looks like you get to the top of this crest here and you've got quite a big downhill towards the green. Should be fine with the driver. I'll tell you what, let's move this a little bit more to the right because I'm pulling everything left at the moment. Oh, that's better. That is banging the center of both markers as well. That was me just raising my hands a little bit off my lap. And the swing was absolutely perfect. Okay, 176, 33 down, so it's playing around about 165. 160 might not be enough. Okay, 165, so put a little bit of loft on it, because we've still got three mile an hour wind against this here. Yeah, that's better. Just raise my heart and my arms, just a little tiny touch off my lap. Oh, ho 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 ho. Nearly a slam dunk. If you know it's a little bit calmer in calmer conditions. <laughs> and we pick up another birdie. No, oh, we're definitely going to catch them now, I think. K okay, hole 14, 487 yards, pop up, stroke index 9. <clears throat> now, with me saying a couple of the courses that we did play. I was going on about the ball physics and things like that with the firm and fast greens they're not playing they're very natural but and then again i did say these are playing this competition is for a major the play it's for the olympics whoever wins it i think this one's playing a little bit too easy on default settings mind you uh, the guys who run the tournament they can bump the settings up to whatever they want Make it a lot harder. See, I think the conditions he's got this set out just now, but well, especially on default anyway, this is just like a yeah, a nice round of golf for me, I think. You know, if you know what I mean. And then yet, if you're playing very firm, very fast, you, you have to be really cautious with your approach shots. You have to be really cautious with your putts. 
Okay, this is 180, 19 down. So it's playing around about 174. So we've got 172 there with the seven iron. A little bit of loft on it. And as you can see, I can kind of go right at the pins here. Oh, crap. Again, pulled over to the left. Yeah, with these conditions, I should be getting a little bit closer to the pins than what I am. Twelve feet three inches down. Okay, it's gonna turn a little bit left to right, so this is just gonna be a little tap. Oh that turn. See how quick that turned right in that middle section there. Yeah, it's quite a few birdies of I should have had. Hole 15, 233 yards, par 3, stroke index 5. That's a nice looking hole. It's my favourite hole so far, I think, this one. Looks wise as well. <clears throat> okay, pins right at the back of the green here. Okay, 242, 10 down, so it's playing well, about 239. 226 with a 5 wood, that should be absolutely bang on. Let's have a look at the slope on the green. Everything's playing left to right, so we should be good right. Let's try and get a good swing on this one. There we go. That's tracking absolutely beautiful, come on. Oh, ho, ho, that was nice. Right, now we should get the birdie here. And we do, and as you see, a little bit more pace on that there. Okay, hole 16, 442 yards, par 4, stroke index 7. Okay, we can go down this left section here. Or oh, you can go up to the right section. I do like that bit in the middle there where he's got the little step. Just going right through the rocks there. I do like that bit there. And let's have a look. Driver, way too much for that. So it looks we're going up this section. Them trees aren't going to come into play. Nah, it should be okay. Even from there, we'll probably be able to hit over the top of them, I think. Oh, I don't know. Let's try and get it closer to this edge. That should be fine. That wind should turn it around for us. Right, come on. Yeah, that's better. K127, okay, uh, plane 126. We are what 122 with the gap wedge. I'm gonna put a little bit of loft on this. Again, way left. Okay, what does this leave us? That's 21 feet and one foot up. Oh, so that is going to be a par. Now you see me, I mean, my swing is a little bit, it's not too bad. I mean, a little bit all over the place and some of the, the, the approach shots. I'm hitting it a little bit left to the pin and things like that. But you put this up against the PGA and the Euro guys, they're gonna be coming in at 17, 18 under par, even more. Okay, let me go. Driver, oh, driver right onto the green here. Oh, it might be too far actually. I think, I think if we go with the two, we're probably gonna leave ourselves with a chip. Driver's gonna might got a chance of taking it right down the back of the greens. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the two with I think, yeah. 
six mile an hour wind should pull us back in that little bit as long as I hit a nice one and that was not bad that wind's just pushing it in lovely right in the center of the fairway of that yeah driver would have took us right over the back of the green I think that's going to leave us nice little chip sharp but drop it down to the gap wedge always drop it down one or even two but I've only dropped it down one because I want to make sure I hit it on the green now as you see with the green speeds only at 163 it's not rolling as far as what it would do and that gives us a nice little birdie putt Okay, drawing with um, Shane Lowry and Matt Wallace there, at minus 11 now. Hole 18, 562 yards, par 5, stroke index 17. Now that's better. The way he's got his crowds here, down this left hand section, the way they've got them a little bit more spread out, you've got the little tight pockets as well. Okay, bear with me one second, guys. I'm just going to take a screenshot up here. Got the clubhouse in the background and got the grandstands, the green. That's going to be my thumbnail. <clears throat> it's just a lot easier when you've got the crowds and the grandstands and how it's better to, as you're going around the course, and take your, your screenshot. Because if I came here, as I was doing my flyby, there wasn't any spectators out here. There wasn't any spectators in the grandstand. And it just gives that, that bit of, a little bit of a better look at the thumbnail. Okay, driver. That should be fine. Wind should push it back into the centre. Oh, it's a slow backswing, but that is okay. That is going to take a little bit of distance off, so we might not reach the green too. But it looks like we're going uphill anyway. So even with going uphill, that would have killed the ball pretty quick. Yeah, we're not going to reach the green too. Two wood. Um, I might just lay it up here somewhere up to this section. We're going uphill, so this should be fine. Oh, it's a slow backswing again. Hopefully it makes it over that rough. Come on. Oh, sugar. Damn it. I hope we get this close and pick up the birdie and take the win. Come on. Okay, 110, 20 up. So that is playing, ooh, 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 what about 117, I reckon, right about that. Uh, 122 out of the sand. Oh, 88%, 136, that might be too much. Let's go with that, but a bit of loft. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Bloody slow downswing. Ooh, I thought that slope would have pushed that a little bit more to the left, but it did hit a slope, so that's going to push it out to the right. Oh, we need this putt for the win. Come on. 23 feet, 2 inches down. Nope, nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! What a putt in the final hole. Get in there for the win, I think. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Minus 12. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad course. It plays pretty well. Uh, I wasn't too sure about the big wide sort of first cut. Looks a little bit rough in some places. Uh, a couple of buildings sort of floated as well. It's just things like that you really got to take care of. These judges will bump, pick up on that straight away. And with the way it's got set out at default, it played too easy for a major for me. I mean, as I said, my swing was a little bit hit and miss today. And I hit a minus 12. You put this up against PGA and Euro guys. They're coming in at 18, 19, 20 under on this. Guaranteed. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, guys. That is uh, Ninigret National GC by Michael Hamlin. Nice course. Give it a play. And I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.